Thank God for the supernatural. Is more real than anything here. You see, it may, it may seem like in, uh, on this natural level that it's supreme, but there is another world that don't even need to ask your permission to do what it does. Don't even need a key. Don't even need a door. Remember after Jesus, after the resurrection? See, before the resurrection, Jesus, whenever he entered, he would come through a door, etc. But after the resurrection, remember, he, he just came, he just went out the door. Look, look like the door, look, where did he come from? He came through the wall? What in the world? But that, he, he was trying to show us the supernatural, the supernatural. Uh, when he got up from the grave, that was supernatural. That was, you know, you can have guards and have people, um, but uh, it, it is, and now I'm going to tell you now, when God get ready to move, can't nobody stop him. I don't think you heard what I said. When God get ready to move, can't nobody stop him. I, I, um, uh, I mean, it, 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 you know, all, all through the Bible, but we're we, we going we to just stick with this chapter tonight. All through the Bible. Uh, but what I'm sensing in my spirit is that the enemy desires for us to move away from the supernatural and, and, and somewhat deal with God on a sense level. Two plus two equal four. God can rapidly move on your behalf and turn some things around. I, I mean, you, you know, it may seem, okay, but he come, but when God get there, Man, the, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now, in, in Acts chapter 12, I want you to, I want you to think about uh, the supernatural as we deal with this. Uh, what, being filled with the Holy Ghost. Who, who filled with the Holy Ghost? Now, now, you, 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 now you, you're talking about um, that's... that's you, you have the supernatural, the, the ability. You, I, when Jesus was on the earth, he prayed to the Father that he would send another comforter, which, which is the Holy Ghost. Jesus knew he was leaving, right? So he said, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pray to the Father that he would send another comforter. Now watch this. Jesus knew I'm going away, but they need to be able to function like I did. When the world says no on the inside, I said on the inside, oh my God. On the inside, you, 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 you don't want to disturb nobody. You can say it under your breath. Y'all said no, I believe it's still so. I, I just believe, I believe. Man, I get, you know, and, and that's where you're going to have to be. Don't settle for the way the world has uh, organize and set stuff up and tell you it ain't no way. Oh no, no, they they don't know. They don't know. And uh, let, let me let me help you. Sometimes people can tell you there's no other way, and and they go to church. But going to church and knowing God and walking in the supernatural is 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 is, is a whole new situation. Glory to God. The things that God is capable of doing, it is amazing. It's amazing. Uh, now, you in Acts chapter 12, you, you in Acts chapter 12, and uh, we, we, verse number one. Now, now, about that time, Herod the king struck forth his hand to vex certain of the church. He killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. Everybody see that? And, be, and because he saw it please the Jews, he, pursued, he proceeded further to take Peter. Oh, y'all, y'all, y'all in it? Then were the days of unleavened bread. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quadrants of soldiers to keep him. Why he need that many? It, it, it shows Peter's status. 
um, they, uh, um, it, 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 it's, it's just amazing to me that uh, if Peter was just a regular person, but they put these people around him because he was just that important. And, uh, and they wanted to make sure that he stayed in prison. But if God decides you coming out, no white man, no black man, no Hispanic, no Asian, no Indian. I don't care who they are. Can't nobody stop God. They, they, they took him, watch this, put him in prison, de deliver him to four quadrants of soldiers to keep him, intended after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, but proud. Come on, Holy Ghost. Now, now you got to remember, they ain't only praying in English. We are in the book of Acts. So they ain't just praying in English. Some people are in there praying in the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is supernatural. When you're praying the Holy Ghost, you may not know all that you're saying, but the Holy Ghost is going, and oh my God. Holy Ghost going forth and dealing with things that you don't even know about. You, see, when you pray, you pray based on your knowledge. You pray based on what you think need to happen. But the Holy Ghost know what you don't know. Now, the people knew he was in prison, but they don't know how he was being kept. Mm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, let's look at this very carefully now. Verse number five. Uh, 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 Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing. Do you know what out, without ceasing means? That means they had a prayer chain going. Oh, this group, y'all go, okay, the other one they gonna pick up. They had continuous prayer. Oh my God. That's what get the enemy nervous when a church begins to pray. You can shut down anything when the church begins to pray. But you got to pray without ceasing. You can't just pray during Lent season. You can't just pray around this season. You got to, oh my goodness. They pray without ceasing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church under God for him. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping. Now, do you see verse 6? I'm going to see if you can pick this up. And when Herod would have brought him forth, what do you think that means? He would have brought him forth when? Maybe the next day. Are you following what I'm saying? He got plans. Everybody sleep now. Wow. You follow me? So the, the way I would see it is like the next day he had plans. Notice what he said. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping. You know, when they bring somebody to trial and try to do whatever, you know, they wait till daybreak. I'm not trying to help you. I'm just trying to help you. No, no, notice this. I want you to see something here. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, uh -huh. bound with two chains. Come on, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. And the keepers before the door kept the prison. He, he got somebody on the outside of the prison he, uh, 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 he, and, and, and got him locked up in there. Got him sleeping between two soldiers. Bound with two chains. No, we ain't going nowhere from here. We going. To... 
we going to make sure. Now, just in case you don't know, if the prisoners let him get out, they would die. So they had to, they knew we, why he's sleeping, whatever going on, somebody got to be awake. Somebody, somebody needs to make sure that we keep him. My, you got chain, two chains on him. You got two soldiers, one on his right, one on his left. And you got somebody outside the gate. All of them are trying to make sure he don't get out. We talking about the supernatural. How you gonna get past the soldier at the door? How you gonna get into jail without a key? Y'all don't understand what I'm saying. When God get ready to do something, he don't need whatever is normal, whatever is natural. He don't need any of that to do what he going to do. Hallelujah. It's supernatural the way God operates. And let me, let me tell you this. If, if, if you know how to yield, he will operate supernaturally on your behalf. But you, it, it can't, you, can't, you can't get all into sense knowledge and what makes sense and what they said and maybe it's going to take this long. You, oh my God. Mm. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door kept the prison. How many keepers? It's more than one because it's an S on the end. And behold, the angel of the Lord. Anybody still believe in angels? It, 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 it. Man, my God, you talking about, I'm talking about, we're talking about the supernatural. Um, spirit beings. Um, uh, moving at the speed of light. God, man. Um, able, have the ability to just show up. Um, the, the angels, uh, and, and, and the way they would say it, this is not their first rodeo. They've been doing it a long time. Glory to God. You know, you know, um, when, see, the supernatural, you have to get in agreement with it for it to happen to you. Oh, yo, you're not getting it. It ain't going to just happen, then you can say, oh, the supernatural work. No, you have to get in agreement with it. You have to perceive it. Even why it's coming out of my mouth, because God told me to preach this, that means he wants something supernatural to happen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But the problem is most people don't know how to cooperate with it. They are too natural to experience the supernatural. Mm. They want everything logical. This is going to happen, then that's going to happen. light. Oh, y'all ain't getting this. It's not the lights that the prison has. <laughs> it's the radiance that's coming off of this massive angel. Not only do they move at the speed of light, they are light. Now, no, why, no let, let me go back. Let me go back for a moment. Let me go back for a moment. The light that's on these angels they, 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 um, 
Remember in the book of Revelation, there's no need for the sun, no need of the moon, moon or sun, because the glory, the, the radiance is coming off the Father, the Son. Uh, uh, you don't need, you don't need, no, that's, that's the light, that's the light, that's the light, that's the light. And, and these angels, these angels, I believe these angels get orders from heaven. I believe that there is a boardroom in heaven and God dispatched them. So they come and go. Lord have mercy. I feel the Holy Ghost. They, oh my God. You, you, there are people who think they are ruling and reigning. But God has angels who report. Oh my God. They get around the throne and God, God, God release them and he give them assignments that nobody can stop. I want you to look at this for a moment. The angel of the Lord came upon them and the light shined in the prison. And the light shined on them and the light shined in the prison and he smote Peter on the side. Let me just stop right there. I just want to just, just, to, just to make sure everybody can see the angel is inside the prison. No key. You got at least two guards at the door. You got a prisoner on the right and the left. Peter still got two, two, two chains on him, but the angel is inside the prison. Oh, man. I don't know. Uh, oh, I'm hearing this now. I don't know how many times they had plans for you, but God. to visit you before they had a chance to visit you. There were some places that they expected to find you, but God removed you. Told you to go this way. Oh my. Hallelujah. This is supernatural. Everybody getting this tonight? This, this, is the, this is the world that we as believers supposed to live in. God can do anything. I said God. Come on, he said, she said, I got that going on in my life. I got that going on. Don't none of that matter. Supernatural God. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. My God. Mm -hmm. Man, Jesus. See, see, when you're so natural, you, you don't even perceive. Did you hear what I said? Perceive the supernatural because you're so natural. You, you're so used to things being the way they've been, you don't even expect it to change. Glory to God. Mm. hanging around a whole bunch of natural people who use philosophy and reasoning to determine what they're going to believe and try to talk you out of. God. Then mm. the thing about it, God, 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 man, Jesus, it seemed like to me that God just sit back. Say, so go ahead and set it up. Put two chains on them. Put, put, put at least two people outside the prison. Put, put two more, let them lay beside them so that this will be a bigger miracle. I imagine when, now I want you to understand this, these angels are warriors now. You got to understand what I'm telling you. 
Oh, no, you, you, you don't understand what I'm saying. When they show up, they come to take something out. All right, let me help you. You, you ever heard of Sodom and Gomorrah? They said, y'all better get out of this city. Because these, these, these angels coming up in here right now, they are going to destroy When they come, they ain't coming to play. They're they not coming to just visit and see what, what you're doing. When they have an assignment. Oh, my God. Oh, man. It, 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 see, this is supernatural. This is supernatural. The next thing, let's, let's, let's be seated. Let's, the angel, all of a sudden, is inside the prison. Glory to God. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, you're reading ahead of me. I know, I know. He don't have no key. And his chains fell from his hands. So he told Peter, he smote him on the side, told him to get up, and when he got up, the chains just fell. No, you don't need no key. So when they tell you, we're going to keep you out. Oh, my God. There's always another way. There is a detour in the spirit realm that will get you where they say you can't go. They'll block this road. God will take you around and still get you. Now, I'm going to tell you how to happen. God will get you to your destination. They are still there blocking you. They don't even know. You've already gone to where they're trying to keep you from getting. Does anybody believe in the supernatural? I feel the Holy Ghost, man. Does anybody up in here believe in the supernatural? This is the way you got to flow. You can't be all in the natural. And uh, just the way, have you ever seen something that you didn't see? What was that? I saw something flash roll. What was that? You just. I've been on my cameras at home. I'm looking, what is that? Angel. I've seen something flying like, whoa, hold up, man. What was that? I saw something. I know I just saw something. It's a spirit world, man. Did you hear what I said? It is a spirit world that's much more powerful than any of this natural mess we see. There are people, they know the natural. They go to church. They know the scientific, but they don't know the supernatural. They don't know nothing about speaking in tongues, flowing in the Holy Ghost. They don't know nothing about just being baptized. I mean, I mean immersed in the Holy Ghost. They don't know nothing about just, just relinquishing your will, not, not controlling nothing but being controlled by heaven. Glory to God. Sometimes people look at you crazy and you wonder, why are they looking at me like that? Sometimes they looking behind you. Because it's, it's, it's uh, and, and, okay, Lord, I hear you. And sometimes they, they because they're not spiritual enough to see the angel, but they sense something hovering around you. It's a presence and a light and a glory. Oh, my. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and, and what happens, the devil, he's so stupid, he'll push you to a place where you got to go in the spirit realm to get results. He's stupid enough to frustrate you when you don't have nothing else you can do. I 
I've had my best times in the arena of manifesting when the devil made me mad. Oh, he tried to attack. Oh, 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 oh I got something for that. See, he'll bring out, he'll bring out, he'll bring. See, anytime you squeeze something, you're going to get whatever is on the inside. You, if you don't want what's on the inside of something, don't mess with them. Glory to God. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and, and a light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly, and his chains fell from his hands. Verse 8. And the angel said unto him, Gird thyself and bind on thy sandals. And he did. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment about thee and follow me. Now, you got to understand, you got natural guards at the, on the outside of the prison. They don't know nothing about this. The two of them that were laying beside him are still asleep or doing whatever they're doing. So that means God can come and rescue you from your enemies and your enemies don't even know it. They'll think they have you and you free. Oh, man. Now look at this in verse number eight. And the angel said unto him, gird thyself and bind, and bind on thy sandals. And he said, and, and he did. And he said unto him, cast thy garment about thee and follow me. Follow me. Follow me. And he went out and followed him. And was not that it was true, which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. See, that? it's letting you know this supernatural here. So this is happening to him. And he man, what in the world is going on here? I mean, it's just so smooth and so that no keys needed for nothing. Chains fell off of him. And he was in, was in, was in, was in, was in prison, was in. My God. See, we're not just going over story. The Lord is trying to allow this anointing to hit somebody in this house. My God. Oh, Jesus. I didn't just keep repeating that to, for a video. The Holy Ghost. My God. I'm preaching better than y'all shouting, but I'm, I'm, I'm just, oh, God. Glory to God. And he went out, he went out and followed him and, and was not that it was true, which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. When they were past the first and second ward, they came unto the iron gate that leadeth unto the city, which opened to them of his own accord. That gate, y'all, y'all, you, you ain't understand what I'm saying. I'm talking about supernatural. Do you understand what I'm saying? The gate just opened. With nobody, oh my God, my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because they got there, it just opened up on. Nobody but God bought you where you are right now. Nobody but God, nobody. Mm. Oh, God. Glory, 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 glory. That's why you being honest when you start testifying, you say, he did it, he did it. I couldn't have done it. My God, I'm not capable of doing this. Mm. They got past the first and second ward, came to the iron gate, and it opened. And they went out and passed on through one street, and forthwith the angel departed from them. Man, y'all did. What are you going to do? What do you think Harry going to do the next morning? You got 
plans the next day. And you're going to go into prison looking for him, and he's not there. See, this is resurrection power right here. See, they went to the tomb looking for Jesus. But the angel said, he is not here. Y'all ain't hear what I'm saying. You, you waiting for resurrection Sunday. Oh my God, my God. The supernatural is about resurrection. There are things in your life that they said this will never be for you. But the devil is a liar. The very thing they said you never would be, God made you that and then some. Oh, glory. Glory to God. Now, the, the, angel, the angel departed from him. Now, watch this in verse 11. And when Peter was come to himself, see, he'd been, he been in a super, and can I tell you, it happened so fast. Did you hear what I just said? It happened so fast. The supernatural is so fast. It takes you a while to try to perceive what God just did. That's just how fast God can yank you out of the bottom of the pit. Oh, man. Hallelujah. Mm. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety that the Lord has sent his angel and have delivered me out of the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. And when he had considered the thing, he came to the house of Mary, the, the, the mother of John, whose surname was Mark, uh, whose surname was Mark, where, uh, where many were gathered together praying. Remember they prayed, they were praying. Mm -hmm. And as Peter knocked at the door at the gate, a damsel came to hearken named Rhoda. And when, and now you know a lot of times in the Bible, the people don't even tell you what the person's name was. But for, for here, my God, they want to make sure we saw what this was. And when she knew Peter's voice, she opened not the gate for gladness, but ran in and told how Peter stood before the gate. And they said unto her, thou art mad. Now hold up now. I thought you were supposed to be in here praying that God would do something supernatural and move and then the girl come and tell you there's Peter right here. You know, it just, it, it makes me wonder with a lot of us up in here that have been in church a long time, how much do you really believe? How much have you experienced that, that has uh, caused what you believe to be less? You know, see, the, the key is, is to walk through some stuff, but still believe. There are some people that go through stuff and say, well, I don't know because, you know, I had this to happen. And I don't know because I, I knew that went on like this. And, and so you allow your experiences to make your faith like, just like water. I just, I'm, maybe I'm just stubborn. I have the type, uh, 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 when I go through something, I just get more to, oh, I know he can do it. Oh, I know he can do it. Oh my God. You know, like Job said, I know that my redeemer living. <laughs> Y'all talking all this yang yang, but I know. Oh, so she came in. And verse 14, and when, and when she knew Peter's voice, you, you notice what I'm preaching? I don't have no notes, but I'm preaching right out the Bible. I'm going scripture, it's all my, it, well, he ain't scripture, uh, script, I'm going scripture by scripture, revelation, prophetic, apostolic, power of God, oh my God, all kind of stuff flowing up in here. Glory to God. If you haven't got fed tonight, it won't be my fault. I'm pushing word and revel. Oh my God. Mm. Your, the natural side of you 
is not getting anything. No strokes, no, I mean, no, it's, it's, it's not, uh, we're not ministering to the natural side of you at all tonight. It, so it depends on how in tune you are to the spirit will determine how much you can, how much you can drink tonight. I'm drunk already, glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm. I was sipping before I got here and I've been sipping the whole time I've been up here. Glory to God. You know, people talk in the world, talking about, man, I'm, yeah, I'm getting a little high. Man, I get high over this. The word, the word. Now, now, you know, this is good too in verse 14. And when she knew Peter's voice, she opened not the gate for gladness. So that, that, that thing hit her too. But ran in and told how Peter stood before the gate. He the man is that you gonna just leave him out there? She just left him and ran. And they said unto her, Thou art mad. But she constantly affirmed that it was even so. Then said that it is an angel. But Peter continued knocking. And when they had opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. Oh my God. But he beckoning unto them with the hand to hold their peace, declared unto them how the Lord had brought them out the prison. And he said, go show these things unto James and to the brethren. And he departed and went into another place. Man, my God. Verse 18. Now, as soon as it was day, there was no small stir among the soldiers. What was become of Peter? And when Herod had sought for him and found him not, he examined the keepers and commanded that they should be put to death. Man, Mark, what is this, Lord? What is this? Man, is this, do, you, do you see the supernatural? Now, I'm, now, now, it's something about the supernatural. It's kind of, oh, man, it, it's, you got to flow with it. You can't, you can't all participate in it, and you're certainly not going to, going to control it. The supernatural is something you, do, you don't always know when it's going to come, but you got to ride with it. When it, <laughs> when it come to pick you up, you got to jump in the car. <laughs> whether, whether, whether you got your wig on or not, you got to, y'all, y'all follow with me? You, I'm, I'm just saying, you just, you got to, you got to, man, you got to be ready to roll. In other words, you don't always have time to get dressed, to grab this, grab that. You just got to flow. It's, it's, it, it. Listen to what I'm saying to you. There are a lot of traps and things set in the natural. But when you learn how to climb above it, every, all this stuff that was set, booby traps and, 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 and grenades, you, spiritual grenades, you can, just, you can just go right on past it. They, and then they'll wonder, how in the world did you get there? There is no way that you were supposed to have gotten through that, but you, but you in another realm, glory to God. So you will come in, you will come in at a certain level. And if you know how to get up in the spirit realm, you will supernaturally go past people and before they know it, you gone. They're like, no, ho, you're supposed to be with us. With you. How you get way over there when, when we were all together? You know, uh, okay, let me, let me, let me, I'm going to give you an example too. I remember we used to live in Rivers Bend. We sold the house. The man taught me a lesson, really had me to look at a few things. He paid cash for the car. I mean, cash for the house, cash. Not car, house. I, was, I still remember the price in my mind. Had Daniel even trying to negotiate with the man. 
And uh, it was one Wednesday night, we in the house, we kind of trying to negotiate. So I had to, I had to stay there and send co-pastor, you go, and I, I, got to try, I got to try to go ahead and get this thing done. But I was like, that man, cash. He paid cash for the house. You know what I mean? I saw I was part of the transaction. Cash. To the point I asked the realtor, I said, are you going to check and make sure that, he, I mean, that's what he said on the contract. Are you, do, do, do he really have this money? Because I hadn't been around it up to that point. Oh, man. And, um, and, um, I don't know how many years after that, I was getting ready for the Phaeton, you know, the coach, the motor coach I used to have. Uh-huh, see if you can get that revelation. We've upgraded since then. In case somebody listened to me for the first time, I got, I got to tell it. I got to let God get the glory, you know. And, um, and um, so we, I, I was practicing. Overseer Page was helping me. I was practicing by driving our motor coach so I would be prepared for the coach when it came. And I happened to go in the neighborhood and I saw these same people. And they were in the yard. And I sat there and wondered, they paid cash for this house. But now we were, had moved to the next home and now we were on the lake. And I begin to testify. And I begin to share with the lady where we are now. And, and, I, and upon the, it, it, in my mind, I'm like, how in the world? At that point, they were, be, they, were, they were way ahead of me. They were able to pay cash for this. How in the world, in a few years after that, did I end up way over here? Way over here. I mean, just... I mean, my, I mean, almost like you off the map. The lady, she looked at me. She said, what? And I began to tell her. I began to tell her some stuff that was in the house. I told her about the lady. I said, God did it. It may not mean nothing to you, but it means a whole lot to me. I'm in a transaction with somebody that paid cash. And I remember around the price, whatever it was. But that was before we went to the next home. And now where we are now. It's a whole lot more expensive where we are now based on what they pay for the house. If they came to where I am now, they would fall out. They would just say, I can't take it. They just, they just come down the driveway and just fall out. It's the supernatural that if you flow with God, almost like God was telling me, you see how he paid cash for that? He was trying to tell me then, boy, that's your future. Except you're going to be writing a whole lot bigger checks than that. Mm. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Stand on your feet. God, I give you Glory. I give you glory, Lord. I give you glory. I give you glory. I give you glory. Hallelujah. I give you glory, Lord. I give you glory. I give you glory and praise. And Father, I give you honor. We need to, we need to, we need to, we need to lean towards the supernatural. We've been on, we've been on, uh, ba we've been on first base too long. You, you got to get started somewhere. You got to get going somehow. But we've been on first too long. We've been on first too long. Yeah, yeah we had to get there. Now we need to, we need to go. We need to go. We need to go. We need to go. We need to go further and go deeper. Glory to God. We want your name to get the glory. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we got to manifest. We got to manifest. We got to manifest. We have got to manifest. But God, and the only way we're going to do it very softly, we're going to have to cooperate with you. We got to cooperate with you. We, you think too much and too deep. You'll, oh my God. You got to learn how to flow. When the door open, you got to go through it right now. Remember the pools of Bethesda? 
Whoever got in first got healed, not the second, third, fourth, fifth. There was a whole bunch of people waiting for the moving of the water. When the Spirit of God moves, you got to go with it. The angel smoked Peter on the side and said, put your sandals on. Grab your garment. Follow me. You ain't leading nothing. Lord, talking to somebody up in here. But notice the angel said, follow me. In other words, I know the way. I came with the plan to get you out. Notice the angel did what the angel needed to do. And then he left Peter. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We have been the hold up, not you. <laughs> it's our thinking. It's our, how can that be? We, we too, we, we so much in the natural, we don't believe in miracles no more. Stop hanging around people that talk you out of miracles. Stop listening to preachers that don't even believe what they're saying. Because you're going to get the spirit of what they're saying before you get what they're saying. Make up your mind tonight. You're not going to listen to not another, you're not another preacher that don't believe what they're saying. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We bless your name tonight, God. We bless your name. We bless your name. Yeah, yeah. We believe in the supernatural. We believe in the supernatural. Now, Father, we pray tonight in the name of Jesus. Anybody bound in this house? You up in here, you, now I know this midweek services, hallelujah, but if you came up in here bound with anything and you want to get free tonight, hallelujah, hallelujah, whom the, whom the son has set free is, is free, is free, is free. You can be free tonight. We'll give you an opportunity. If you're bound with anything, strung out on anything, you can, yeah, you can get free tonight. Glory to God. The altar is open. I'm, I'm asking you to come to the altar tonight. We will pray for you tonight for you to be free. From whatever has been binding you, you can be free tonight. Free. <laughs> Hallelujah. If there's anybody in here tonight that's not a Christian, but you want to give your life to Jesus, the altar is open for you right now. If you've never given your life to Jesus, and you want to be a Christian tonight, I invite you to come. If you strayed away, and somebody need to recommit their life to Christ, come to the altar. Glory to God. Father, we need more preachers that believe what they're saying. Too much eloquence. People gifted to teach and preach, but they don't believe what they're saying. And then let them talk to talk. Glory to is open now. Thank you, Lord. And, and anybody need a church home? I need a pastor. I need somebody to push me. I got a lot of good in me. I need to be pushed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I need to be pushed into greatness. Hallelujah. Bless you, Lord. And don't fault us for being Lord. Oh, that's, the, 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 the church is too big. Well, we got big because, oh my God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Any one of those invitations tonight? Any one of those invitations? Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Lord, you know, to the very best of my ability, I have listened to what you told me to preach, and I gave it everything I had. Now, Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that every captive will be, oh my God, the devil, he don't have a chance tonight. He don't even have a chance tonight. It's too much power in him. God said he would confirm the word with signs following. Whatever you bound with, the chains have got to fall tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have your way, Lord. Minister to your people, God. You've been doing it all throughout this message now. As they have come to this altar, God, whatever is blocking them, open their eyes so they can see it. 
make the necessary corrections. I come against fear in the name of Jesus. Yeah, you're going to have to change something. If nothing changes, nothing changes. But I come against fear right now. I come, but oh my God. You, yeah, you can't, you cannot be comfortable. You can no longer be comfortable where you are. It's time for you to go to another level. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is calling you up. Thank you, Lord God. My God. So, Father, I just bless you and I thank you, sir. I give you all the glory, all the praise, and all the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah.